Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we have kind of a different video from me. Okay, we're going to be talking about things that I stopped buying once I found my personal style. I saw, um, I believe it's pronounced Naja Sierra do this video and I really liked the concept and I thought it was interesting and I thought we could have a good little chat about finding one's personal style, um, making those buying decisions that make you feel comfortable and the ones that I have thrown by the wayside and thought, you know what? Thank you for your service, but you're no longer needed kind of thing. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Now, personal style to me is not a destination, it is a journey, okay? And there are things that I like look back, especially in my teen years, my gosh, there was there was some experimentation happening, you know, and good for her, good for her. But even like one or two years ago, I'll look back at pictures and I'll be like, I want to style that the way that I styled that and like, that's not hitting the way that I thought it was hitting, but... I'm never going to regret those decisions because at the time, A, I thought I was killing it and that's really all that matters. And B, those sorts of trial and error of fashion and style eventually brought me to a place that like, I feel like I am 90% sure of my personal style. And I don't think we ever get to 100%. I think style changes as our lifestyle changes, or you know, your career, whatever, you know, all of these things, where you live, you know, do you, did you once live in, you know, somewhere that had all four seasons and now you live in sodding LA and it's sunny all the time, you know, that's gonna change things. I think my style is now maybe different in five years time or whatever, but right now I'm pretty secure in what I like um, and that's what I'm gonna share today. The first item that I uh, really have stopped buying are flats. Specifically like basically anything that's not a sneaker or a summer sandal all right specifically things like ballet flats loafers i used to love a sodding ballet flat yes okay they were really working for me and i used to enjoy wearing them and look by the way everything that i cover in this video is no shade to people who wear these things or whatever it's just not my personal style vibe i'm not saying that i don't like these things i'm not saying that they other people absolutely kill it but this is just for me i they just really don't feel like me anymore i don't feel like it suits me it makes me sort of feel a little bit even like uncomfortable when i wear it because i'm like this is this is not me at all have you seen those videos of dogs trying on like little dog shoes for the first time and they're all over the place and they don't really know like how to act or where to put their feet that's kind of how i feel in ballet flats i feel like i should be breaking out into a tap dance i don't know why that's just what my insides feel like doing to be honest with you they're just very girly for me um and for how i personally like to dress um and if it's not a ballet flat let's take something like a loafer that just seems a little bit too elegant and chic for me to be very honest with you it feels a bit too formal for me and my style so off the back of that, I can't even tell you the last time that I bought a flat that wasn't a sandal or a sneaker, you know? Or a boot. I do love a boot. The next one, again, is like a personal weird thing. Camisoles slash sleeveless tops, okay? I don't like anything that's got like a thin strap. It makes me feel overly exposed. Look, whatever I'm doing here is how it makes me feel. There are some people that wear like really cute sort of lingerie looking silky little camisoles and like a pair of jeans go out for drinks with the girls or whatever and it looks so cute and i just feel like that's absolutely not me again if i'm buying a top it tends to have some sort of a sleeve i love like a tiny t-shirt a tiny cap sleeve just something that's just got a little bit more coverage again i don't know why bralettes to me are a separate category don't ask me those questions it's just how the brain is set up i don't make the rules but the other thing is is like you know the sleeveless tops I don't like that little bit of pit cleavage that seems to creep up from me um, every time I try one on the holes just seem to be a little bit too big where yeah there's just a little bit of pit cleavage and that's all I can see and feel it's like oh there we go it there it is that to me is like a it's less of a style thing though i don't think it is my style no, the sleeveless tops actually i think are my style camisoles are not really my style but in general that for me is like a comfortability thing 
if that's even a word. Number three, I feel like a lot of people will resonate with me on this one, low rise jeans. I banged a pair of low rise jeans, okay? When I was like between the ages of 15 to, I'm not gonna lie, I think I was, put, I think it was almost pushing 20 and I was still bringing them out. I will not be caught dead in a pair of low rise jeans now, absolutely not. Once you go high rise, that's a very, that's very hard to backtrack, okay? I'm very comfortable in high rise jeans. For my body type in particular, I think that they're very flattering, you know, it nips in the waist, the rest of the body does as it does. There's so much stress in life on a daily basis that I don't need to add having to do that to sit down every time because guess what? Half the crack's on show. You've got a couple of inches there just saying hello to the world. No, I'm, I'm 29. It's unacceptable. It's, I, I think honestly, it's a bit unacceptable for my ass to be out at my age. It's crawling back. I know a lot of us are against it stay strong but and a lot of people are wearing and are pulling it off and honestly good for you you wear that ass crack skimming skirt or trousers or jeans um to your heart's content and you're killing it over there i just know i could simply never and part of i think finding your personal style is just understanding what is an absolute hard no and what's like a never gonna touch that never in a million years okay and to me that is low rise jeans low rise anything including bikini bottoms they slander absolute no no that it's a crime. Item number four that really this has been a trial and error because as I tried with these denim jackets, leather jackets, anything that sort of moto style jacket. I do have one that works but that's the exception okay. I have tried denim jackets and every one that I have bought has been sold. It just doesn't work for me and I don't know if I just, I don't know if it's a I struggle to style it thing and then that just makes me sort of unconfident when wearing it. But I try it, I give it a go, and then I look back at the pictures and I'm like, I hated every second of this. I think I find them difficult to style with my own pieces or my style specifically, you know? The majority of people have like a denim jacket and they're out there killing it and like, how can I, how can I not? But it's taken me a while to come to terms with the fact that I'm, I'm not a denim jacket gal. But I'm comfortable in that fact. People out here are buying the um, the really cute cropped Prada triangle denim jacket, right? I know, that's not for me. That's fine, because there are lots of other stuff that's for me. Don't you worry, my wish list is through the sodding floor, so it's fine. Leather jackets I'm bundling into this because to me, they kind of come into the same category. I feel like they cut me off at a weird place. Maybe I've just not found the one, I don't know, but I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. I don't think it necessarily, you know, my style is missing out on a leather jacket, you know? So I'm happy where I am. Not for me. Next up, straight cut or non-flared skirts. Okay, once again, I feel like this is a my body type kind of thing, right? Because I'm, I'm a bit hippie, okay? And this is where I feel like if it goes, if it's straight cut, it just, it cuts the legs off at a weird place. It just doesn't look as flattering on me personally than when I go for like a little bit of a skater skirt, a little bit of an A-line, let's do a bit of flair there. Because again, you have that nip in the waist, nice and snatched, we love it. And then a little bit of skim over the hips there. And then on top of that, they're either too big or too small because if you want to be comfortable then you've got to go up a size and then it's just loose fitting right or if it's your actual size then it just ends up looking tight because of the hip area and it's not it's not helping me personally so to me i know let's kick it out a bit next up a bit of a controversial one for myself uh logo t-shirts not all logo t-shirts are made the same when i think of a logo t-shirt i'm going to go out there and like i'm thinking simple t-shirt logo across the front like Givenchy does a couple of t-shirts like this like there's nothing else going on right there's not like a cool pattern it's like put in a cool place or like whatever no the Balmain does a lot of this type of t-shirt where it's just t-shirt Balmain kind of thing and again you know I'm a self-proclaimed logo ho I love a logo get it let everybody know yeah 
yeah thank you spent money on this whatever we get that <laughs> and again i think it's about how you style it but for my particular style at the moment I've mentioned this in, in a couple of videos before, I'm investing a lot in like ready to wear pieces and whatever. And if I'm doing a logo pair of shorts, I'm not gonna be out here with a logo t-shirt as well, you know? My style is very much statement pieces paired with very simple pieces, so we have a balance. You remember when everybody was, was in the Gucci t-shirt kind of thing? Like I would rather have a pair of Gucci logo shorts and a simple t-shirt because to me that just works better for my style. Do we see? Do we see? Help you with me. Okay, the last category is everyday costume jewellery. I used to love, specifically Chanel, it's always sort in Chanel, isn't it? Stud earrings, Chanel necklace, like the little pendant one, stuff like this. And it just doesn't, practicality wise, it just doesn't keep up for an everyday piece. And I love costume jewellery, okay? So I'm not coming from a place of like somebody that doesn't like costume jewellery. You know I love costume jewellery, but I love costume jewellery as a statement piece. I think for everyday pieces, you need something that is hard wearing, it's going to withstand and that is really going to be your fine jewellery. And I learned the hard way. Oh yes, I was here with my sodding stud earrings turning green. They were Chanel as well, turning green and this thing doing that and whatever, that it just came to the point that I was like you know what I'm all right I'm all right without a Chanel logo hanging around my neck tarnishing you know after a few months because she wasn't meant to be here for that long you know what I mean so I've really kind of switched my mentality on costume jewelry is for statement and I love costume jewelry for that and I know that there are some people that are like sod costume jewelry all together and just buy the fine jewelry thing I disagree because like I have like a gold chain costume jewellery necklace that if that was real would be like 20,000 and the necklace was 400. So you know, you know. So while I haven't stopped buying costume jewellery, I've stopped buying everyday costume jewellery or costume jewellery that I intended to wear every day purely due to the practicality of it. I hope that was interesting and somewhat helpful or maybe you just got a giggle out of it. That's enough for me. Let me know if there are any items that you've also stopped buying as you've fine-tuned your personal style over the years. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.